I think it's a little bit too heavy. Catch my drift? That's a good one! So here's a big portion of the flat floor. That's the driver's side. It's not very heavy. For some reason I thought it would be heavier, as far as I remember. So let's weigh it. Guys, you know this score. Go down into the comment section and uh, tell me what do you think this weighs. Remember, it's uh, two halves, so... What do you guys think? Did you write it down? Four and a half kilos. So, like I said, it's a bit lighter than I thought. For some reason I thought, so basically four, four and a half, so that makes it nine kilos for the full underfloor, which is still significant, but for some reason I was thinking it would be closer to 15, 14 kilograms, which is, which is good. But I reckon I can get it down to no more than a kilo and a half each, which means I'll save about six kilos from the whole assembly including the seat, which by the way I'm making a separate tutorial on, the link will be in the description. Uh, this will save me almost 20 kilograms. So to make such a large, effectively a flat sheet that I need for my flat floor, I need a big surface. I don't have glass or mirror, that would be absolutely ideal. But what I do have is my phenolic fly, ply that I've used before for my splitter and for Nick Prong splitter. Unfortunately we didn't clean it before vacuum bagging it and it left quite a bit of a really thin residue on each side so effectively this surface is ruined to use by itself but what I can do I can make it nice and flat. Peel, um, uh, vacuum bagging film because obviously it's naturally um, non-stick so we'll just put a thin layer over the whole thing and that will give us the barrier that we need and then I will uh, lay it with composite materials I think this time I'm not going to use carbon expensive nobody will ever see it so what I'm going to use instead is dialin dialin is quite magical it's uh, obviously completely man-made it has similar properties to Kevlar but the appearance of carbon and at a fraction of the cost um, it's slightly heavier than carbon but marginally marginally what we need to do is get each one less than four and a half kilos and we're golden all right let's apply that thing and uh, let's say it Larry, Larry. This seems to be dry and to be honest with you I think it might have just worked what I didn't like 
working with this material is <laughs> like I said I chipped out I've used uh, just a normal polyester resin which is the stinky one and that's why I'm working obviously outside it goes off really really quick literally 15 20 minute time i'm not used to this kind of speed and for large areas it's really really difficult you have to constantly mix it and mix it and mix it and it doesn't seem to wet out as well as that one maybe because it sets so quick so i don't know how it's gonna be but you can hear it's probably probably okay but like i said it's not a critical part it's the part that nobody will ever see as long as it fused together and it's kind of solid we should be okay let's unwrap it you know what i think we got away with it i mean it's flexible but but aluminium sheet was the same flexible it was never supposed to be super rigid but i think i think it will work in all honesty, I don't think it's lighter than aluminium by, by much. Oh, maybe it wasn't worth it. So I reckon what we need to do is I need to cut, basically place the aluminium sheet, the, 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 the thing on top, and cut around it the shape that we need and then weigh it. If it's worth it, you know, even if we save two kilos, then maybe it's worth it. Then I can make another one. If it's not, Ah, running out of time, just put back the aluminium and revisit this later, but yeah, it's okay. It's not perfect, but like I said, nobody will ever see it. so the first one is cut to be honest with you I think it's good what do you guys reckon it weighs remember the, the other one was four and a half kilos you ready you know the score comments write it down it's not as light as I was hoping but it's 2.1 kilos it might get a little bit heavier because i need to cut the two flanges that were on the side so that's another maybe 150 200 grams but overall that's more than double more than half the weight so if it was four and a half each let's say so that's nine kilos if there are two kilos even if they're 2.2 so that we will save around five kilos which I think is quite significant considering the cost for dialing and this cheap resin was kind of marginal. I think this whole sheet would probably cost 40 pounds to make. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right. I reckon, I reckon we can make another one. I'm happy with the first one. So the same principle. Let's go. Ever since I was a child
Stop this, get right. Stop this, get Both panels have been cut out, super light, well, at least half the size. So what I have to do now is attach <coughs> attach the flanges from the previous one because I didn't want to bother sort of mold them or whatever. I mean, it's nice and aluminium. So this one goes in here and this one's sort of like corner goes where the exhaust actual tunnel is. A um, couple of rivets. Honestly, guys, this thing is absolutely amazing. I, I was using before um, air one um, and then the manual one. This is just sublime. I mean, I will leave a link in the description. It's not cheap, but if you are into Milwaukee, I strongly recommend you get one. Um, yeah, literally a couple of um, flanges and this one right at the back like that. And then we can bolt it on and I'll show you how it looks. I mean, I was worried that it would be too flimsy, but no, look, I'm holding it in the center and there's hardly any deflection. And it's light. All right, let's go and fit it. So here we are, guys. As you can see, difficult to film it, but the floor is in. Um, I designed it to be literally identical bolting as new aluminum one, so there was no sort of reinventing the wheel. So it's five kilograms lighter and it's composite. So why not? Um, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.